everyone today we are going to learn the difference between null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis alternative hypothesis as we have discussed in our previous lecture about the hypothesis and the hypothesis testing so we will see how they differ from each other how you can write, write the null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis and uh, we are also having a research question here on the basis of which we are going to write the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so first difference between the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis if i uh, say in a very layman term is null hypothesis is basically refers to no relation or no effect now what does it mean as we have seen in hypothesis the hypothesis tells you the relation between the dependent and independent variable so a null as its word indicate null means zero or there is no relation between the dependent and independent variable if i write here that the dependent variable and independent variable depends on your research and in case of null hypothesis they are not related to each other so in case if, if we connect it to our research question here we have the the dependent variable that is the level of anxiety and the independent variable is the earthquake so if we state the null hypothesis then we we uh, are basically concerned with no impact of earthquake on the level of anxiety when we talk about the null hypothesis they are not related to each other it means earthquake has no impact on the level of anxiety this is all about the null hypothesis if we keep in mind our research question while in case of alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is always related to the null hypothesis but as, but as its name indicate it is opposite of the null hypothesis if there is no relation in null hypothesis in alternative hypothesis we will have a relation we will have an impact or effect of some phenomena so it is alternate of the null hypothesis so i can say in alternative hypothesis that dependent variable and independent variable are related to each other or they have relation with each other or they have an impact on each other so i can write here like a relation between dependent and independent variable so it means if we talk about a research question then we can say that the level of anxiety that is the dependent variable is related to the earthquake or have an impact as a result of the earthquake so this is about their concept so when we write the null hypothesis alternative st uh, alternative hypothesis st statement how we can do that so a null hypothesis is basically represented by h not and if we write its statement it would be earthquake does not affect the level of anxiety now keep this in mind in research question we have not prove or disprove any statement we are just digging out we are just uh, anxious about whether the earthquake is affecting the level of anxiety or not but we have very little information on the basis of which we are going to investigate so in null hypothesis we are just going to we just uh, uh, we are just disproving that uh, 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 what the researcher is actually going to prove that is the earthquake is not affecting the level of anxiety so further it can be written as h not colon mu is equals to 100 now what does it mean it is very important mu basically refers to the population mean of anxiety level here whenever we write the hypothesis in this form in this statement here the mu always refer to the dependent variable mean it's dependent variable mean so in our case we have a anxiety level mean anxiety level of the population mu is basically representing the population so here we have a mean anxiety level so this means that the mean anxiety level of the population is equals to 100 and it is not affected by the earthquake even if there is an earthquake the mean anxiety level will remain 100 so we are basically stating the null hypothesis we are basically stating there is no impact of earthquake on the mean anxiety level of the population while in case of alternative hypothesis it is represented by h1 and its statement will be earthquake affects the level of anxiety so it's an alternative hypothesis that is earthquake is affecting the level of anxiety and it is the opposite of the null hypothesis so it can be written as h1 colon mu is not equal to 100 so it means that the anxiety level of the population does not equals to 100 when there is an earthquake 
while null hypothesis is saying against it. So this is how they differ from each other. So here again, this is a dependent variable mean. So this is the mean anxiety level. So these are the two different kinds of hypothesis and we have to either prove or disprove both of these hypotheses. It all depends on the uh, on the uh, data that we uh, gather after uh, uh, formulating these hypotheses. The next step is to gather the data. Then uh, you have to analyze data, the analyze that data and you have to check whether the uh, uh, null hypothesis is accepted or the, alter or the alternative hypothesis is accepted. Now one important thing is here that if the null hypothesis is accepted, it means there is no difference between the anxiety level before uh, between the anxiety level uh, before and after the earthquake or you can say th that the anxiety level of the uh, of, of the population is not affected by the earthquake then this relation is merely by chance in case the null hypothesis is accepted the relation is merely by chance if i write here by chance relation while in case the alternative hypothesis is accepted then we can say that relation is real because there is a difference between the anxiety level mean of the uh, population parameter and the anxiety level mean of the uh, uh, of the sample of uh, of which we have uh, which we have taken after the earthquake so it means relation is real and is not just merely by chance while accepting the null hypothesis means that the relation is merely by chance so that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.